Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's discuss about ownership of copyright in this class. So the copyright ownership, how, what are the criteria and how exactly, who exactly called as owner or a holder, all those things, or proprietor, all those things we will discuss. So the copyright laws clearly state that ownership of a copyright. Okay, copyright. Okay, for that we have made some few laws. Every country does that. Okay, they will clearly explain the different terminologies. They will clearly explain the ownership of a copyright and what kind of ownership he has got. Okay, that is also will be clearly explained by the copyright laws. Now the person who created the work is considered as who, what first or you can say the original copyright holder okay so here it comes the first original holder or you can say the owner of the copyright okay these all things mean the same way that means the one the person who created this first may, maybe some song which was created by A. R. Rahman like for example uh, say for example Kun Fai Kun song was again composed by A. R. Rahman okay and even sung by him also so this is where what you can say now we can say that he is the original you know composer okay like that so in the case the author is an employee okay if imagine you are an employee and uh, uh, you have given assigned particular work like you are working on contract base okay to do some work by the proprietor proprietor is nothing but it can be the firm society organization or a big company okay you are working there or it can be a big company or you are working in a studio where the music composition is taking place okay in our example what we gave earlier okay so you cannot own the copyright there why because the work was assigned to you and you are where an employee of that particular organization and the owner of the copyright shall be the proprietor why because proprietor is the one who is giving you the job and you are just doing the job understanding you are not creating the job there okay so and you are working on the contract basis okay so in this case the owner of the copyright shall be the proprietor okay so now the government will be the primary owner of all the government related works in the absence of any kind of the arrangement if at all it is not contract based and all then he government will own that particular work okay so all government uh, what is related work will be definitely automatically the copyright will be from for from the uh, i mean will be given to the government itself now the person delivering a speech in a first or obviously will be the first owner of the copyright okay when you are delivering particular speech why this copyright comes when it comes to speech whether the copyright for a speech is required okay so that for that i can make a separate video but i will just give you an example when the richard Feynman, one of the famous physicists okay in 1960 he 60s he just when his famous lecturer he gave a speech and in that speech he has uh, asked the entire scientific community to work at atomic and molecular level okay with the statement that there is a plenty of room left at the bottom that means at bottom in the sense at not atomic or molecular level there are a lot of research has to be done please uh, uh, entire scientific community work out towards it and he also challenged around two challenges he gave okay to write entire encyclopedia on the you uh, know on the nib of the pen and also to uh, make a smallest motor okay at that point now in the books and all you can say that he asked to make nano motor there was nothing like the nanotechnology or nanomaterials back then so it was he asked the very smallest motor okay now we call it as to understand nano motor but that doesn't didn't have any parts at nano scale okay so that's how the th uh, things work okay that those challenges was uh, given with thousand dollar award and and uh, that was actually achieved by the scientists back then 
Oh, this is how uh, the speech became a, a very huge impact to the globally, right? So, and it changed the dimensions of the, you know, the entire scientific, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, the journey. So, that is why the, the speeches are become sometimes very powerful and uh, they say it can be copyrighted. So, his, his, with that, uh, just we are giving an example that a person delivering a speech is the first owner of the copyright. Now, the obtain, to obtain the permission to use copyrighted material, for example, you are obtaining a permission from whom the copyrighted material. For example, uh, I am writing a, a book or a book chapter or a research article or a review article. So, in this a particular image, uh, I feel that uh, this should be there, then only the readers will understand. Understand? Getting my point? So, in this case, what I can do, I can take a permission from the copy, uh, already published publisher, maybe the corresponding of the author, and I can get the copyright permission from him. Once I get the permission from him, then I can use that image. Usually, for uh, uh, study purpose, research purpose, you can use, you can, you will get the copyrights very easily. If you are make, if you are, you cannot say that uh, this book copyright you give it to me so that I will make, I will manufacture it and I will start uh, distributing it and I will make profit out of it. In that case, co copyrights will not be given. It will, it will be uh, considered as a co copyright infringement because the owner usually will not give you the permission. Without permission, if you do all these things, it will be copyright infringement. That will be the next topic we will discuss in the next uh, in the next upcoming classes. So, to obtain permission to use copyrighted material, a request for the same should be made to the legal owner. Who is the legal owner? For example, in uh, my example, what I just gave you, the owner is the author here or it can be the publisher also. But author has to approve. The corresponding author will have to approve. Corresponding author in the in, uh, I have explained you in the second module who is corresponding author, who is first author, who is second author or in the, with the entire uh, the research article, right? In the usually when you see the article, there will be a star with the corresponding author in the name. He will be the corresponding author. His email ID will be given for any communication. So this is most of the uh, uh, these email IDs or this particular uh, corresponding author uh, in contact details will be useful for this copyright. Uh, related things okay so now I want to include that image in my in my paper or my book I will request him uh, you know that uh, I need a uh, copyright from uh, uh, your uh, what is it for using your material in my work so or in my research or in my paper or book so kindly give us the permission so once you get the permission you can use Okay, which could be the original author or here the legal owner can be the original author or legal head. In the case, imagine the author is died. Now, he now we can go for the legal head in the case of the death of the author. So, in this, actually all these things will come into picture whenever you are going for the novel. Okay, so then publisher, etc. Okay. So publisher is nothing but if we, in that part imagine that particular paper he has published in or a book he has published in a LCVR journal or LCVR uh, uh, publisher or CRC book publisher or a stranger these are the publishers I will contact them if if the person is dead then the publisher also can give the permission next the request must be mentioned the following things when you are uh, requesting the copyrighted material like access for the copyrighted material you have to write uh, you have to mention few things the title has to be mentioned the author has to be mentioned the editor has to be mentioned edition has to be mentioned because you sh they should know for what copyright you are getting next precise material to be used what exactly in the entire textbook I want to use the figure number 3.1 okay under chapter 3 first uh, what do you say the image I want to use next precise material to use next the number of the copies how many number of the copies you want next the purpose of the material why you are using why what is the reason you want the uh, uh, permission you have to mention that you have to usually you will be writing it as a educational research etc next form of distribution example hard copy of classroom or posted on the internet all those things next whether the material is to be uh, sold 
for example as a part of the course pack are you going to sold, sell that particular copyrighted material that also to be mentioned these all need things need to be mentioned in short the copyright of whoever is owning it he should be knowing that you are, he you get should get the permission from him if you are using and you cannot use it for your own profit okay so next topic we are having copyrights of the author we'll discuss in the next class